The occurrence of non-identical twins, and more specifically mixed race twins, is rather uncommon. However, the number of interracial couples is increasing, which suggests that we'll most likely start to see more of them as time goes on. And despite the fact that most people think that mixed race twins are considerably different from one another, the reality is that they're not much different from other non identical twins or even from brothers and sisters. The term twins may conjure up images of infants who are genetically identical to one another, but the reality is that fraternal twins, also known as non identical twins, are much more common than identically matched counterparts. Parents of fraternal twins are well aware that their children, even though they're the same age, can be very different from one another in every manner imaginable. It's possible that no one understands this topic better than the parents of mixed race twins, especially if their children have distinct skin tones and other racial features. Twins who appear so different are quite striking to the general public, but to a geneticist it's really not that unusual says Janet Bowman, executive vice president of the American Society of Human Genetics. Twins who look so different are very striking to the general public, Janet Bowman said. There are a lot of different elements at play when it comes to genetics and having non-identical twins. For example, in one well-known case, both parents were themselves biracial, which resulted in a genetic soup of dark-skinned and light-skinned genes being passed down to the child. One of the twins inherited more of the genes that caused dark complexion, while the other inherited more of the genes that cause light skin. Twins, when Myla and Anaya are in public, they have a way of attracting attention to themselves, and it's not only because of their cute smiles. Hannah Yarker gave birth to these two gorgeous and healthy twin daughters earlier in this year, and everything appeared to be operating on an entirely typical level. Her and her husband, Kyle Armstrong, immediately recognized that they were indistinguishable from one another, and they expressed their elation at their good fortune. But little did they know that the real miracle that was behind the birth of their twins would not be revealed until much later. Approximately two weeks after the birth of the twins, Myla's new parents began to notice something strange. Her skin tone was changing. It took a few weeks for the coloring of Myla's skin to develop sufficiently for it to become obvious to her parents. However, it became immediately apparent that an extraordinary aberration had occurred with the twins. Myla started out with lighter skin and blue eyes, but through time she transitioned to having darker skin and lovely dark brown eyes. Anaya had light skin and blue eyes. According to research conducted by scientists, the birth of mixed-race twins is not nearly as rare of an occurrence when the parents themselves are of much more than one racial background. In this family, the mother, Hannah, is of Caucasian heritage, and the father, Kyle, is of mixed-race racial background. The parents are quite proud of the fact that their daughter, Anaya, has received their mother's fair features, while their daughter, Myla, has acquired her father's dark skin, hair, and eyes. Myla and Anaya are examples of twins that were conceived from two different eggs, which then developed into two separate sacs within their mother's womb. Due to the fact that the twins' parents are of different races, the twins' genetic code contains both the genetic ales for dark skin and genetic ales for light skin. It's merely a matter of chance whether twins will inherit the dominant gene for darker or lighter complexion. It's not uncommon for identical twins to share the same dominant gene and be of the same race when they're born. However, as these absolutely stunning newborn girls have demonstrated, this is not always the case. They even said that their families had joked about how great it would be to have one of each before the twins were born, which means a baby of each race. Hannah and Kyle, the parents, are extremely proud that they have a daughter who takes after each of them, and they're extremely happy about this fact. It would appear that the family's incredible wish came true. People who see Myla and Anaya for the first time on the streets are mystified. Both the mother and father mention how frequently they're asked questions such as, are they sisters, are they even related, or are they both yours, and possible follow-up questions. In spite of the fact that these inquiries are of a more personal character, the parents are more than ready to answer any nosy inquiries. When Hannah and Kyle first became aware of the peculiar distinction between the sisters, Hannah said, We can't believe they're twins. They have the same birthday as well as their parents, but in every other regard, they couldn't be more different from one another. Even though they're extremely rare, Myla and Anaya are not the first set of mixed twins to be reported on by the media. Maria and Lucy, who are of mixed race and are sisters, went viral in 2015 with their narrative about their upbringing and how they frequently had difficulty convincing others that they were twins, especially while they attended school together. It's really strange because Myla and Anaya, like them, are also of the United Kingdom. 
Without a question, Hannah and Kyle consider their two beautiful and totally distinct children to be the greatest blessing in their lives. We have no doubt that they'll always cherish Mila and Anaya, providing them both with the loving upbringing they both deserve as a result. At one point, the family was even questioned by journalists. The girls are now six years old, and little by little, the awkward attention of others has faded, even though their parents are still worried about their classmates' behavior toward them. They're afraid of ridicule and other problems. Sisters differ not only in the color of their skin, but also in the size of their build. The particularities of development have played a role here, too. By the way, Hannah and Kyle had two more daughters. The father now lives in a real flower garden. Life has given them an interesting gift in the form of giving birth to girls who are twins of a different skin color. One is very similar to her mother, and the other is a copy of her father. During walks, Hannah and her daughters surprised their neighbors because of the different skin color of their children. Some people thought that the girls were not related to each other, although they looked alike. Such twins are extremely rare, and as doctors explain, this was made possible by a mutation in skin pigmentation. In another similar story, Mother reveals she's forced to explain to strangers that her mixed-race twins are related because one has brown hair and darker skin, while his fair-skinned brother has blue eyes and blonde hair. A mother of multiracial twin sons described how she often needs to explain that the boys are brothers because of how different their skin and hair colors are from each other. Clay, 15 months old, who was born with blue eyes and blonde hair, and Cole, who was born with brown hair, brown eyes, and dark skin, are both children of Jade Ball, age 32, of Selford, Greater Manchester. The mother of three claims that the twins are a mix of her spouse, Cade, who's partly Jamaican, and herself, a white British woman. People never believe me when I tell them that Clay and Cole are twins when we meet new people, according to Jade. They think I'm making fun of them. People are utterly captivated by the boys and ask me a ton of questions about them once they realize I'm being sincere and speaking the truth, though. When we're out and about, people frequently stop us and ask me about the twins. Cade, the twins' father, is partly Jamaican, whereas I am a white British person. When we learned we were carrying twins, we didn't really give their appearance much thought. We simply thought that they could both resemble their older brother, Cruz, who's now two years old, and be a tanned blend of me and their father. I never anticipated that they'd be born quite opposite of one another. When they were born, it was pretty clear, but as they become older, they're looking even more distinct. While Cole resembles his father's side of the family with Jamaican ancestry, Clay is more like his mother's side. Jade uploads images of her boys on their Instagram profile, saying that she's constantly amazed by the way they appear and that she adores how different they are. I think it's pretty cool because they appear the complete opposite of one another, she continued. It's amazing and just goes to demonstrate how bizarre genes are. They don't appear to be in any way related. Although very distinct, they're both stunning. And as they continue to develop, I just keep finding more and more differences. Even though they have entirely distinct looks, you can tell that they're brothers when you see them together. They have a lovely bond. They like playing with their older brother as well and work together like a little team. Clay's in charge. He's adventurous, self-assured, and into everything. Cole is a little more reserved than Clay, and he enjoys cuddling with me as well as dancing around the home. But they're tiny show-offs that love to be the center of attention. They recently joined Nemesis and Lakara modeling agencies, and they both genuinely enjoyed their recent modeling work. I cherish my boys and their individuality. It's what makes them who they are, and I couldn't picture them any other way. How likely is it for twins to have different skin tones at birth, and how does it occur? In Britain, about 12,000 sets of twins are born each year. 385 of them are black or mixed race. The chances of a mixed race spouse having twins wholly different in color are one in a million. Up to seven distinct genes are thought to cooperate to define skin color. A lady of mixed race will typically have both genes coded for black and white skin in her eggs. Similar to how mixed race men's sperm will include a diversity of unique genes. These eggs and sperm will combine to produce a mixed-race child. On rare occasions, though, the sperm or egg may carry genes specific to one skin tone. The baby will be white if the sperm and egg are both genetically white, and if only the variants required for black skin are present in both, the child will be black. The likelihood of one of these events happening to a mixed-race couple is about 100 to 1. However, there is a 100 to 1 possibility that both possibilities could come true at the same time if the lady has non-identical twins. 
This also includes the simultaneous fertilization of two eggs by two sperm with odds of about 100 to 1. Two children with radically different skin tones are created if a sperm with all white genes combines with a comparable egg and a sperm with genes coding for exclusively black skin fuses with a similar egg.